Ladies and gentlemen, Jackson of Imagine! Hey, baby, hell yeah. What's up, brother? How are you doing today? I'm happy to be off work, man. Hell yeah. Here, being here is I'm definitely nice. better than uh, than being at work, for sure. Uh, we're doing great. If you could, could you uh, could you please properly introduce yourself? Let us know what you do in the band, where you are, where you are in the world, and plug or promote anything you'd like. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you say that one more time? I was just wondering if you could properly introduce yourself, let us know where in the world you are, and plug or promote anything you'd like. Okay, so my name is Jackson Hoyle, and uh, I'm in Clay Center, Kansas, which is kind of where the band is based out of. And uh, I just want to plug, obviously, the band members with me. <clears throat> They're good guys and are really good musicians. Um I want to thank my family that's got me to this point. So that's about it for me. Good call. That's a, I think that's the first we've ever had someone plug their family. That's really nice. That's really <laughs> sweet. Danny, how do you know Jackson? You're you you're friends with the boys in Imagine, correct? Uh yeah, no. I first met the the guys in Imagine um 2 years ago. Two years ago this month, uh, I put on a charity auction um, and asked for people to volunteer to like play music or donate merch or whatever. And these guys showed up and showed out like they played the show and they donated merch, like a merch package to be auctioned off or raffled off. And like they just they came out and they were there and a couple other bands did, too. But. I've had a really good working relationship with them ever since and did this video that you've got queued up for them. Oh, you did this actual video right here, White Roses. Excellent. Excellent. Hell yep. yeah. Uh, Jackson, how did you guys come about making this particular track right here? Is this, does this one mean anything different than some of the others to you? Uh, yes, for me personally, uh, this, this song, White Roses, is written about my father who... When Imagine got together, uh, we were practicing in his basement for probably about two, three weeks, and then he unfortunately passed away. I'm sorry. And uh, the other guitarist, C and I, we were at the uh, flower shop picking out flowers for his funeral. What kind of flowers were going to go on his casket? And I, I chose white roses. And so we decided to write the song about my dad, and we were talking about. <laughs> what name we should give it and we ended up saying white roses because that is the flower that i chose to put on his casket interesting very interesting this is all about my dad oh, that yeah. song adam in the building what's up sir how are you adam what's happening good to see everybody <laughs> thank you for joining us adam could you please properly in the car uh in park city hell yeah could you uh, could you please uh properly introduce yourself and let us know uh it, well, you're in Park City, so you don't need to tell us where you are. And uh, plug or promote anything that you'd like to uh, promote, sir. Oh, God. Um, well, I'm Adam. Uh, I'm the bassist in Imagine. Uh, I joined up with these guys officially last June. Um, and if I'm going to plug anything, listen to us, of course. But uh, my brother Jesse, our other guitar player, put out a solo album. It's phenomenal. Jackson guests on it. Um, Terran Severance. Yeah. Uh, Danielle's husband. I those guys I absolutely love with all of my heart and soul. Um, and well, I guess I'll be a little bit of a <clears throat> uh, my other band, Reform and Ruin, that I play bass in. Check them out too, if you don't mind. Yeah, that's, that's how you promote and plug right there. I, I liked it. And then Steve, what's up, brother? How are you? Hey, man, how's it going? I appreciate I'm to figure out this app real quick. Hold on. <laughs> you, you, you got it all. You're, you're all good. It looks like uh, I you're good. We can see you. We can hear you. Yeah. we're oh, Okay, cool. I'm going to go ahead and jam uh, White Roses real quick. So everybody knows what you guys sound like. How did you guys? Uh, how did you guys come up with the band name and why the three J's? Okay, so I was actually working at Pizza Hut at the time that this band got together. And uh, we were talking about band names and 
where we wanted to go with the name. And so I actually wrote down all of our names on a piece of paper and I took the first letter of everyone's name and was just trying trying to make different different words with it basically. So I'm just switching all these letters around trying to find something interesting. And I ended up uh so we got a different we had a different crew at the time. So we had Imagine, so that's Ian, which is I, Adrian, which is Ian's little brother, <clears throat> who was playing drums at the time, and then uh, Matthew, which is the M. Matthew Meals is our old, blaze, old bass player. And then uh, the J is for Jackson. The other J is for Jesse. And the third J came kind of later later on because at, that's after my dad passed away. My dad's name was John and he was a very big influence to Jesse and I growing up as far as guitar playing and just always have been in our, in our lives. So we decided to add my dad's J to the name. That's why there's three J's, Jesse, Jackson, and John. And then uh, after that, we just kind of like had to fill it in. So <laughs> imagine because yeah, the Madge sounds it like a sounds like a private party or something. <laughs> you had to add the I N on the end right there. I get it. Uh, so let's we're gonna jam Twister next, and then after that, I want to know if you guys are down to uh, review some artists with us. Maybe do a little trivia, and we'll have some fun. Let's do let's do tw let's do great. Twister first though. Danielle, did you do this one too? I did not do this one. This was not, was actually done by Jared Vaughn. I'm just wondering is where yeah, Dark Twist. did he make this in like in like CGI this on his computer or is this some kind of like other footage that he ripped from something cuz this is a wild video right here I No how he, he made this from somebody else and used them and pieced it together and then made it what it is from that Yeah it is wild he did a pretty good job It's a pretty cool video for sure Yeah I don't think Jared any is definitely. who I, I want to be when it comes to my lyric videos. Like, I want to get to that point. <laughs> I believe... He's definitely good at what he does. Nobody got sure. the trivia question, by the way, which was the... Uh... I'll, I'll just re-ask you, you guys, and let me know if you know this one. When Ozzy Osbourne was first signed... I'm sorry, when Ozzy Osbourne recorded his first album, uh, why did he have a problem getting it released? The album Blizzard of Oz. There was a big deal of why he could not get this released. If you hmm. know, I do not know that. It's kind of an interesting answer. What up, Zay? Maybe because he wasn't with Abbotson. If, if you, if anyone knows, let me know. We're gonna go ahead and play. Uh, we're gonna play. Set it. Let's do SOS today. At Set It Band in Northern California, the boys in Set It. What do you guys think of that Yay one? Yay for setting. Man, that that's dope. good stuff. Yeah, that's solid. Yeah. <laughs> From the uh, sound engineering to the screamings and the vocals, how they kind of uh, stagger each other. That's really good. I really like that a lot. Now let's do... The that was good stuff. Let's do the complete opposite of that next to see <laughs> if you're still in the same, the same vein. Noise side. Wow. Is that pronounced noise aside? Noise side. Like genocide? No, just noise side. Noise side. Correct. That's nice. Not bad, right? That's a cool name. Yeah. Park in the center. Hey, what is yeah, up? Yeah, I can appreciate that. I'm going to let Danny ask a couple questions here in a second, but I got one more real quick. Uh, what do you guys have lined up for the rest of 2022? What can we expect from the band? Any shows as we can get in, at least trying to get a couple more songs finished and put out. Yep, looking at some singles coming up here soon. Yay. Any 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 possible like release time frame on the next single? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say I would really like to have a single out by June or cool. two. Two singles out by June. I could dig that. Yeah. I could dig that for sure. Hell yeah. Uh, Danny. We have to whip our a few times to get him, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, do you have uh, – let's hear some questions that you may have. 
you asked my questions. I mean, like, I did I at least one show that they have coming up this year because they're playing it with for me. But <laughs> I just try to get them on as many shows as I can. And uh, the one that the one that they're on right now is uh, a Slayer tribute show. So that's going to be Whoa. freaking yes. awesome. Hell yeah, oh, man. That's going to be sweet. So I have a, I have a Slayer story. I used to work at. I don't know if you guys have a BJ's restaurant where you, around where you live, but the, there's a restaurant we called. We do now. Okay, so uh, I used to work at a BJ's restaurant. This is God, this had been like nine years ago, and um, in Chino, California, and sitting at the bar is Carrie King. So of course I go up there, say what's up, give him the well, I'm not worthy, but you are. We're you're you're the greatest, <laughs> and uh, totally cool. Uh, shook my hand, talked to him for a second, and then didn't really want to bother him. And I was working, so just chatted for like 30 seconds. Nicest guy ever. Uh, shook my hand and everything. Yeah. Really cool. Because a lot of times people are just like, you know what, kid, get out of here, and just I don't want to talk right now. But he was really, <laughs> he was really cool. Um, man, that's awesome, fellas. What last uh, time I oh, saw yeah. like Kansas City at uh, Liberty Memorial? No, it was at the, uh, uh, it was at the Sandstone. And it was uh, Behemoth, it was Lamb of God, Slayer, and um, I missed the opening band. I can't remember what that was, but that was a killer show. Yeah. Man, their stage. You, I was in probably about if you're looking at from the stage to the all the way in the back of the crowd. I was probably right in the middle, and when Slayer's pyrotechnics went off. You could feel it. I mean, the flames, the heat was just like, whoosh. I was like, oh my God. About, about to burn Adam's beard off. <laughs> and Steve's. But, uh, fellas, what's what's one? I actually tell James now that he has shaved his head that he looks like he, he looks like Kerry King, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, really quick, I owe, I owe Smokey. I need to get in my head. There it is. <laughs> I get to chug <laughs> chug the rest of my beer. Thank you, Smokey. Oh. Uh, what really quick? What what song would you guys what? like us to play next? And then Danny, you you can ask uh, whatever. Yeah. Heard. What song are we playing next, fellas? I would say either Pryon or Marshall. Hell, either one of those are just uh, they're all bangers. But God, I don't know. Take your pick, man. That one's called Marshall, fellas. One at a time. What is the best album ever created? Any genre, in your opinion? Danny's gonna go fastball, so we can just move on from her. <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Uh, for me personally, I mean, and this is gonna be like kind of way out of left field for a metal guy like me, but I really like "Point of No Return" by Kansas. I listen to that wow. all the time. Yes. Love that song. Love that album. Love it, love it, love it. Is that the album that had the main two two hits that they had? D Dust and the other one? Carry On My Wayward Son. Yeah. And Carry On My Wayward Son, yeah. But it also had Point of No Return and like all the other bangers. Uh, that violin on Point of No Return. Sometimes I just can't knock it that out of my head. Yes. I'll be sitting at work and you just <laughs> oh my. Adam, Adam, what would you say is the the best album ever made? Oh God, uh, for me personally, just because of the impact they had on me, I would say either Pink Floyd's "The Wall" or mm. "Kiss Alive '75." Kiss Alive '75. Have you ever seen Kiss Live? Uh, twice actually. I once Hell bought. Yeah. At one time, uh, at one time, Gene Simmons owned an arena football team. I think I've told this story before. Um, and they did not do well. They could they like couldn't the sell tickets. So they, they started. It, yes, it did not do well. They started doing like Kiss will play at halftime if you come to the game. And tickets were six bucks. <laughs> tickets were six bucks. So I bought two. No, I bought a ticket to be my homie one. I was like, bro, let's just go see Kiss. It's six dollars. And they played an acoustic set at halftime. No paint, no face paint. And uh, they only played like three nice. songs, but got to see Kiss. So K 
counts. Nice. Steve, wow. That's Steve, awesome. Steve, what's the best? What's the best album ever made? Well, that fucker Adam said it first, but I got to go with Pink Floyd's The Wall. That whole thing from start to finish is a masterpiece. Yes. It yeah. is superb. It is superb for sure. Um, it is a concept album, and that's actually our next album is going to be a concept album. Sweet. Let's see if yeah. I can queue up. Uh, let's see if I can queue up one more trivia question for you guys. Maybe on based on something about metal, but I gotta find something real quick. We'll do one more song from you guys. Maybe we'll do uh, we'll do Harlot this time. Hell yeah, guys! Well, we appreciate you hanging out with us today. Um, we did ask you what you got going on the rest of the year. You said you've got some new tunes coming out, possibly two singles by June. That's amazing. If my final question will be, and I'll, I'll have Danny ask one last question as well. But my final question would be. Who would you like to have featured on an Imagine track someday? If if for some reason this particular artist was like, you know what, I'm just going to do it for free so you don't have to worry about how much it would cost, who would you want to feature on an Imagine track? John Petrucci. Mm. My eyes keep... Tom or They're too skinny. can't get big enough. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. Shit. James Barlow. That James one can Barlow happen. He's out of your guys' price range, I think, James Barlow is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got James Barlow, we got John Petruzzi. If I was going to go with a mainstream person, or no, it would actually be a local person. Uh, for Topeka, Bleed the Victim, I'd love to have uh, Alec Johnson. Nice. The lead singer and rhythm guitarist for Bleed the Victim out of Topeka, Kansas. I would love yeah. to have him on the track. Hell yeah. Danny, what is your final question for the fellas? I I don't have a final question for you guys. I just want to say I love all of you guys from the bottom of my heart. And Adam, I'm sending out special love to you and Jenny for Hi Babe. Hi, <laughs> <Hey>, sweetheart. <laughs> Um, Jenny's got some, some medical issues going on and she's got some, some serious stuff coming up. So I'm sending out some extra love to you guys, uh, from my family to yours. I love you guys. Send in love, love also. Sweetheart. Send it, send in love also. Nice words. Right Thank, there. You. Thank you. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Well, well Steve, Adam, yeah, Jackson, and Jenny, we appreciate you guys all hanging out with us, man. Much success to imagine, uh, in 2022. And uh, hopefully Absolutely. those new singles can come sooner than later so we can jam them ASAP. But uh, we appreciate you guys taking some time out of your day to hang out with us, man. It's a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ladies Absolutely. Thank you guys, you guys for having here. Hell yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, imagine! Yeah, hell yeah! Enjoy the rest <laughs> of your day.